Yeah, yeah, I, I was um, grateful just to be out here healthy and fit. Uh, the good old time was to try to get under 25. Uh, I think I was just shy of that, 25, 08, 25, 09, something like that. But considering the, the training I've been doing, I'm in a, a good start of the season. Uh, I was talking with the national coach and national, uh, the being a president, Donald Watson and Troy Douglas, and they said that it's going to be a jam-packed season uh, next year. Um, you got the NACAC Cross Country inaugural uh, World Relays, Commonwealth, CAC Games. So we're all trying to be fit for uh, next summer. And uh, this, just trying to get out for some over-distance uh, strength work. Uh, this road race, maybe a few cross countries, but the next big race will probably be uh, race weekend or the NACAC Cross Country. So um, as far as this morning, Dubella wasn't too bad. The first half, uh, maybe the first mile or two, Trey Simons was uh, running with me along Front Street. And once we hit maybe like Pitts Bay and Cox's Hill, I uh, started to break away. Um, I just remember maybe once I made the turn onto uh, North Shore, from uh, Amity House, that's when the sun was in my face and started to feel the elements. But nevertheless, uh, five minutes pace was pretty much the whole pace throughout the um, the race, so I felt good. So I was glad just to finish, you know, even more or less for, for the entire race. Um, thanks to my sponsors, VT Construction and Solid Rock Construction, have been with me for maybe the uh, last five, six seasons. So I'm looking pretty good starting off. Yeah, you feel good about your times and, and what the future holds? Yes, it's actually my best time for this course, I believe, uh, 25, 28 was my best coming into it. So I took maybe 20 seconds off. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pleased with that and, and how I'm heading into uh, the up and coming season. Uh, Victoria, you don't always get on the winner's cycle, but you're still out here putting in the miles. Uh, how did you feel going out? And, and when did you feel like, okay, today was gonna be my day? Um, I didn't have that much expectations for this race because I haven't trained that hard. So I just went out and did my thing and Teresa was with me I, for the first mile or so. And then she didn't come. I don't know. She's. I thought she was just going to be right behind me the whole way, so I kept looking behind. But anyway, I'm glad I, you know, I won. And it wasn't a great time, but I really haven't trained for anything b better or specific, so I really didn't worry. There's no markers. So I didn't know. I didn't even look at my time or my watch once. So I'm just happy to be out there still as a master runner and still able to run. Are you still enjoying yourself? Obviously, you're putting in the time and effort, and you're also helping out others too. Eh? Yeah, that's the last couple of years has really taken some, t you know, time from my my own training. I do coach a lot of runners, and I help with the Mac Juniors. I think we're up to like 60 kids that I do, and me and Steve Burgess. So, you know, and I run all through the day with a lot of my clients. So, a lot of times I put in a lot of miles, but it's not quality miles, and I have a hard time training myself. But, you know, this stage in life, I'm not going to get that much more faster. So, I'm you know more enjoying helping people out. So. I'm actually going to Boulder next two weeks from now and doing coaching level one and two to get, I am a personal trainer, but I haven't had the, the coaching, you know, specific running coaching, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. So I'll be out in the running mech. I can put in some good training there for a week too. So, yeah. All right, well, good luck with that. Thank Obviously, you. Lamont, um, what, what are your short-term plans? I know you said your next big race will be the International Race Weekend, but what, what short-term goals for you? Uh, with me, I do uh, an extensive base period. Like, so for the next uh, maybe two, three months, I try to get myself up to maybe 80, 90 miles a week. I might not race as much, or if I do, I might just jump in for like a tempo or like use it uh, just as a time trial. But yeah, um, maybe towards the end of the year, November, December, that's when I really start doing fast stuff. So for now, it will more or less just be worrying about the miles and getting my strength up. All right, well, good luck to both of you. All right, Thank thanks. you so much.